In this video, we're going to take a look at a tool called Vector Clipping. This is another trim tool. So what this will do, it will automatically trim sections off for you. So the tool is located down at the very bottom here. So if I select that, and the way that this works is you have to select the cutting vector first of all, and then shift select anything that you want to cut it to. So I want to cut all the stars to that first vector. Okay. The clipping direction, I want to clip on the inside or trim. So I want to keep everything on the inside. And then at the bottom here, it says overlapping vectors. What do I want to do with overlapping vectors? I want to trim them. So if I clip the vectors, it trims those vectors off. Now it will also leave me with the original square. So I may need to delete that afterwards. Okay. If I undo that, select the square as the cutting edge, select all the vectors, select delete. Now this will behave differently. So what's happened here is any objects that touch that square will be deleted. Okay. So if I undo that, now if I select the cutting square and then select the stars, I can select keep. Now this isn't actually going to do anything because it will just keep all of these stars. Now, if I were to edit this and move that to, let's say there, if I do it now on keep and clip vectors, it will delete these three stars because it's not touching those three stars. Okay, so this is how you can get this tool to work with your designs. So let me undo that. And let's take a look what outside does. So if I switch to outside and I'm going to trim, select the cutting vector and then select the vectors that you wish to cut and clip the vectors. And it does the opposite. And it will do the opposite for delete and keep also. So this is a quick way to trim off objects to a particular boundary. If I delete that square, you can see that it's basically merged the square into the areas where it's trimmed. Okay, so that's how to use vector clipping.